So my top social media tip would be for you to understand that each social media world is different, has a different audience, and has different expectations. So what I would say is most important is if you want to interact with the Google Plus crowd, it's not the same style of communication that you would with Twitter, for example. So always fine tune and customize what you want to say for your audience. So I would say the best blogging advice I ever received was be honest and be straightforward. Now, I try to balance that with respecting the privacy of my friends and most importantly, my family and children. But I think that the more you try to present yourself as someone you're not, the more it comes across as awkward and it's hard for people to engage. And if they do engage, they're engaging with someone that's not actually who you are. And that ends up not working well in the long term. So five years from now, I think we will finally have lost the word blog out of our lexicon, but we'll still be doing the same basic thing. And here's the thing I've noticed from five years ago to now, blogging tools have gotten so sophisticated that most websites you see now are run on content management systems, and a lot of those content management systems turn out to be blog tools. So you can use something, for example, like WordPress to build an entire business site and not have any comments and not have any comment box and it works really well. So I think that more and more we're going to see that people will have websites, some areas of which will allow comments and interactivity, there will be RSS feeds, there'll be all the things we commonly consider part of blogs, but we won't use that word blogs. And it will all tie in more and more with social media.